up YouTube. Um, this is NC Pimpin, and uh, I haven't made videos in a long time, but today I'm be showing you how to jailbreak an iPod 4.2.1 iPod Touch. It can be third generation or fourth generation, doesn't matter. Uh, I'll put the download list in the description, and then you'll get download them. I already have them downloaded on my computer. All right, what you're gonna do? You get the restore file. Hold on a second. And it, it'll be in a it'll be in zip form and it'll be in a zip form. What you're gonna do? Right click, click your name, put dot. Uh, hold on, you can't see that real good. My phone. All right, type I P S W. Can't see that real good, but it's just dot I P S W. And then um, you're just gonna click out on the screen. There you go, you can see it. So now you're just going to right click that again. Um, now, I want you to create a shortcut. Alright, there's your shortcut. Now, you want to extract your red snow folder. I already did. Mine's already extracted. Just open up red snow. Double click it. Alright, now you're going to click browse. Let's see here. Uh, go to where you put it, which should be your desktop. Right there, shortcut to iPod. Dot IPSW. Click open. Let it process the firmware. This should take about maybe a minute, if that. And guys, uh, sorry I haven't made a video. It's been like a year since I've made any videos. It's because, uh, well, my first iPod broke, and I just now got a new one. gonna let it sit here. By the way, yes, I am recording this off my iPod. Come on. Alright, now you're gonna click next. Let it run this right here. I'm basically making this video more for a friend, but everyone else can use it too. Because my friend's stupid. Don't know how to do this. Alright, you're just going to click install, make sure install CD is checked, and you can enable battery percentage if you want to too, but that is all you check. Then you click next. Well, um, I already jailbroke my iPod, but all you're going to do, make sure it's plugged to your computer, turn it off, make sure it's turned off. Then you click next, hold, hold down the power button for one second, without releasing, hold down the power and the home button for that 10 seconds. This is basically just putting your iPod in defue mode. And then you're just going to hold, release the power button, but keep holding the home one for 15 seconds. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's right. It says no device detected, blah, blah. It says that because my iPod ain't plugged up and I already jailbreak my iPod. I don't want to jailbreak it again. But then you're just going to click next after, and then it'll just jailbreak it. But after that, after your iPod's jailbroken, you have to come back into Red Snow folder. You have to make sure you do this or else Cydia will not work, which is the app you get when you jailbreak it. Then you're going to have to re up in Red Snow. Sorry about that. Sorry guys, my computer sucks. Reopen Red Snow after you've jailbroke it, this t and you have to browse. Get your firmware again. I know, guys, this is pretty dumb, but you have to do it. Uh, let's see. And um, this is just for Windows. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can do it for Mac too, but I'm just doing it on my Windows computer. And this time you're going to click next again. You're not jailbreaking it though, trust me. You're just, you got to do this. And then, just boot tethered right now. Then click next and do that steps again. And then, you'll be done. Well, that's how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 4th Generation. Peace.